Congrats on the win. You guys are perfect in 50 over cricket on this tour, which is the main purpose for getting ready for Namibia. Xavier Marshall, 170 today. The all-time record for a single innings for USA, 197 by Sushil Ned Carney against Suriname back about 11 years ago. But that was not a bad effort for Xavier. You've seen quite a lot of good innings for USA guys that you've competed against, USA guys that you coached. Steven Taylor has scored 162 in, uh, against Nepal when you were coaching them in Bermuda. And quite a lot of other innings you've been a part of. How did that inning today compare to some of the others that you've seen, regardless of, of who it came against? I, I think uh, um, Xavier, for sure, that is one of the best batters that we have. And um, um, he, he was looking good from the beginning of this tour. And uh, I'm very happy how he um, do things like, you know, he's hungry, he wants to perform. And we talk a lot in the group that, like, you know, how to score hundreds. Uh, you know, these 30s, 40s, 50s are not going to be enough for us, you know, moving forward into the big leagues. Um, and he came and batted brilliantly. And um, uh, yes, the wicket is like, you know, good wicket, but they bowl well. Uh, and uh, and there was a lot of spinners bowl in, in that innings. Uh, and we're very happy how, how he handled everything. And uh, he's, it, I, I would say it's one of the best innings uh, that I have seen. Um, uh, for somebody scoring for US. His acceleration, he got to 100 off of 110 balls, and then he, his next 50 runs came in just 25 balls. The way he paces innings from beginning to end, what stood out to you the most about that? Um, yeah, we, we, we discuss a lot about like, you know, his ability and especially, I mean, not only him, like, you know, all our top three are stroke makers and, and they love to pl keep playing shots and the discussion that we had was like, you know, we wanted them to stay and bat, um, pick the right ball to score, uh, rotate the strike. So, uh, Shavia is like, you know, right now he's very focused and, and doing the right thing. So, um, if, he, if he, the guy who, um, uh, uh, you know, pick the right ball to hit and, you know, and take that time and he, he, he has a variety of shots that he can score 360, 360 degrees uh, um, and he did it exactly uh, as per the plan and uh, he started slow accelerate between the 50th and 100 and then really on top of the game uh, after the 100. When I spoke to him just now, I asked him what's the main difference between his first tour and the Super 50 last year and why he's been so successful on, on this tour and his comeback tour. And he admitted just self-evaluation uh, that he felt he was very unfit for that tour. He felt he was overweight. He worked very hard on his fitness in the time that he's been out of the team. And he said he stopped smoking, he stopped drinking, he's changed his lifestyle habits to try and help get back into a good state of fitness. And that's the reason. What kind of a difference did you witness personally over the last year or so, especially in that camp in Colorado Springs in January, which would have been one of the first times I'm guessing you would have seen him since June when the combine was in New York. What kind of transformation did you witness and how much did that contribute to you considering bringing him back into the squad? Um, uh, if I go back, like, you know, that last, uh, I would say about 15 months, uh, uh, from that first Super 50, um, we never had really training camps. We just coming three or four days before the uh, tournament and you know trying to play against the best, you know. But still, like you know, without much preparation. Um, for, after Division Three, even 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 slightly before Division Three, uh, we had we started these fitness programs and and the boys were really committed towards that. Uh, slowly build, build, building up, but Colorado camp uh, was really planned in a such a way that um, uh, the fitness program, uh, we got a, a SNC guy helping us and uh, Bert, uh, the, the former 
uh, Australian uh, first class player. Um, he set up a program to the boys and, and even that when we started in Colorado, uh, especially X was leading, he was unbelievable, he was pushing hard um, and he was, he was in front of every, you know, sprinting sessions that we had, uh, gym session he was just pushing hard and, and basically the whole, whole group joined into, in, into it and after we left Colorado and we were in, in touch with everyone, uh, we have a you know app, and we have, we have like a, a group that we, we we share our workloads every day, and boys were sharing it, and they, everybody pushed really hard, and I think it's a fit group, uh, and um, uh, I, I'm proud like you know the, the the way that these guys have turned around. Everybody has lost weight and got into good habit eating habits, uh, put in that extra effort on skills. Um, I think we are really on, on, on track and uh, Shavia's performance is just the outcome of that uh, whole process. Anything else you want to say about this tour so far and today's performance and what you're hoping to, to do in terms of the rest day tomorrow heading into the next match? Um, I, I think overall, um, uh, I mean, I'm happy that we are winning. But I'm still that I have a bit of a, a pressure on like there are a lot of things that we are not doing well, fielding wise, uh, uh, game planning. Um, I'm more focused on those areas rather than you know looking at the win. Um, yes, but I'm happy that the batting, batting group is doing well. Uh, even though we, we had a, uh, somebody getting a hundred today, we, we got all out uh, leaving nine balls. That's, that's a lot in a tournament. So we're going to work hard on those things in the next few days and, and get better in every area.